And the word fermentation really means boiling. Because the ancients, you know, when they were making all these things, they saw bubbles and they just thought, oh, it's boiling. So that's where the word fermentation comes from. And making sauerkraut is very, very simple. What I've done for speed, for the sake of time, I've pre-made, I've mm. pre-shredded it and I've pre-salted it. So in here is a head of cabbage, which is about a kilo. And I've added to that 2% salt, which is roughly a tablespoon and a half of salt. But just remember, whatever salt you put in, you're stuck with. It's going to be very salty. So if you over salt it, what you want is you grab a, a little bit of that. Have a taste. So what you're looking for, you can grab some as well. Yeah. Oh, I'll use my gloves. Thank you. So what you can do is you're looking for like almost like a sea salt yeah. taste. What salt would you use to start sea salt or? Himalayan. 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 It's a nice clean one. Yeah, yep, a good one. Good natural salt. No, no chemicals, yeah? No TCPs, no anti caking agents. But what we're doing is here is we're extracting all the water out of the cabbage. So if you look at this, all the water is being extracted out and it's setting the pectin. Because what we're doing is we're inhibiting the pectin, the pectin enzyme. And that'll make it not flaccid, but firm, is what we want in a sauerkraut. So I'm gonna get a volunteer up. Who wants to do a bit of demonstrating? Anybody game? Great, awesome, champion. You whack this in, that's a tablespoon of caraway seeds. So that's very classical for sauerkraut. And what I highly recommend using is a starter culture especially when you're beginning. And I know Gary, I've met Gary Colwells personally, and this is bacteria extracted from vegetables. So I trust the source, I trust the material, and it's very important for safety. This is a safety issue here if you don't get this right. What you gotta do is you gotta drop the pH very, very quickly, very, very quickly. You want it below 4.2, ideally like 3.5, very, very quickly for safety. And that's what we're doing is we're dosing a huge amount of lactobacilli into the product, which will then consume the natural sugars in there and make it sour and safe. So it's a form of food preservation by encouraging acid production again. So you'll see a common theme across all these ferments is acid production is key. Yep, keep going. Mm -hmm. And what you do is you'll get this and we, this is a little kit we have as well that we mm -hmm. use for this. Already. So you can, again, sorry. this one, yeah. Coldwell. A Caldwell. We, we have this as well. So the starter culture ideally needs about 10, so this is two, this is two, enough for two kilos. So I'm going to use half a packet, which is about a gram. And what you're normally meant to do is you're meant to put this in, a gram in, and you're meant to leave that for about 10 minutes to activate. This one in the fr in the fridge. You can whack, you can whack it in the fridge. It's perfectly fine. And see that pounding action now is getting a lot of the moisture out even more. Because we're going to get lots of this moisture. I didn't talk much about sanitation on this side because they're more forgiving. Kombuchas, kefirs are pretty forgiving. Whereas I see lots of customers mucking this up because they haven't sanitized properly. So it's important to use you know, good sanitation practices because we don't want mold. But this is the most common form of spoilage is mold. If you're not dropping that pH fast enough, or you've got mold spores that are in the equipment. So you want to knock this out. A good one to use is this one here. Does anybody use this? Are you using it? Yep. It's a nice, nice easy one to use because you just you mix it in water, follow the instructions, spray it, and it converts, it pretty much sanitizes and converts to water. It's very clean and inert. What I want you to do is get a handful, whack it in there, and then use your, your packer and stomp it. Because what we want to do is we don't want any space, any gaps, because that's where little alcohol pockets will form and will encourage any spoilage organisms. So we want to keep this anaerobic, no oxygen. Should I drain the water out? The, no, the water's good. The water's good. Yeah. Yeah. 
just it's only water. Just the salt Most of it's from the cabbage, and we also added a cup oh, with the wow. starter culture. So cold valves is purely optional, but if you're not, if you're beginning, use cold valves. But if you're more seasoned, you can use just salt, if you know what you're doing. Because what we're doing is we're, we're it's like using cold valves is like an insurance policy, just to make sure we drop the pH. We're not going to food poison ourselves. But if you're experienced, you know your salt levels right, your sanitation's right. That's good. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to pack it in. Yeah. yeah, pack it in. That looks good. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this one mm -hmm. and whack it on top. So this is called a pickle pebble. Oh, so it's a glass like weight. Mm, that's what they are. Okay, that's, the, that's a set. So what it, what it's doing is it's press it, press it, yeah, press it right down. So you want to push push it down so then the moisture mm. is covering everything because then it will stop any mold. Mm. And what, as far as it can go? That, that's, that's looking that's pretty good. good. I reckon what we do is just, more. that looks good. What we're going to do is maybe pour out a slight bit of the liquid, just a little bit. Yep, that's good. And then we're going to whack this baby on. So this is a pickle part. So it's a two-way valve. It's a one-way valve. So oxygen can't get in, and the CO2 vents out. Mm. So you can whack it on. And you'll notice that it's yeah. also got a special, okay. it's got the teat, but it's also got a plastic rim. Because what happens is the regular ball jar rings go rusty mm -hmm. with salt water. Mm -hmm. So hence why they brought this thing out. I'm a clean cook. It's good. It's <laughs> impressive. And guys, that is it. So you leave that with a starter culture will be about 10 days. With that, 10 days. 10 days. Without a starter culture, you're looking at probably three to four weeks. So if you want it faster. Depending on the environment, the temperature. Exactly. Depends.